It's so pretty. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Charlie and I am a UX designer. So that basically means I design apps. Today, I wanted to create an app for BTS. Yes, the boy band of the century. We are going to be designing a music app based on their seventh album that they just released. So typically when we design apps, we like to talk to users and do some research behind it. Since today, we're going to be making something for the fun of it. We're not really going to do a lot of that research phase, but we're going to focus a lot on the mocking up of the UI components of it. And let's get right into the video. <laughs> Step one is going to be our planning phase. And in this phase, I just like to list out the kind of things that we're expecting to be on the app. Typically, I like to do this on a whiteboard. You can also do this on a piece of paper and just a marker or a pen. I think today though, I'm going to be using my iPad to do this. So let's get right into it. You want to start off by listing out the screens you want to mock up. And in this case, that's going to be the playlist screen and the currently playing screen. When we think about the playlist screen, we want to make sure the user knows what playlist this is and who it's by. So let's be sure to include a picture of the album, the title, the artist, and also the year the album was released. The next thing we need is the track list and the duration of each track. We also want to make sure that the user has an option to favorite a song or download the playlist. Sometimes a user should be able to edit or delete a playlist, but I think in this case, this will be the official album playlist uploaded by Big Hit. So we really shouldn't give the user the ability to edit or delete this playlist. The last thing we should include would be something that lets them see what the currently playing song is so that they can easily get to that screen. Oh, and um, if we were going to have a way to go forward, we should also include a way to go back to. And this would be the case for if the user wanted to go back to a main menu, a list of all their playlists, a list of all their songs in their app, anything like that. Our currently playing screen can be planned out in a similar way. You should have much less information on this screen compared to the playlist screen. For this screen, we want to make sure that our user can go back and that they should be able to see an image, the song title, the album, and also the length of the track and how far you are when listening through a song. Other features to include would be a play or a pause button, loop, shuffle, skip forward, and skip back. You might also want to add in the lyrics and also a way to favorite the song too. Okay, now that our planning phase is done, the next step that we're going to move on to is our inspiration phase. Now, this is the really hard part, you guys. This is the part where we have to go watch the music video, we have to listen to the song, trying to like pick out pieces that really resonate with you and then see what inspires you and what you want to incorporate into your design. gonna let myself finish but I do want to let you guys know that I spent 15 minutes pretty much geeking out about BTS that I'm not going to subject you guys to. Okay, back to the video. For the actual design, I'm going to be using a prototyping tool called Figma, but if you're more comfortable using Sketch, Adobe XD, or, or even Photoshop, that's fine too. So I thought about wearing the same shirt again to try to convince you guys that it's the same day, but it is clearly not. So I thought I'll just keep it real and not change because I don't feel like it but yeah how about we just get right into creating the design so whenever I start doing an app on Figma I like to screenshot all the things that I found inspiring and then I also like to write out all of the little information that we had done in our initial planning phase and then just put it all out there with the correct content I don't really like adding in the content as I'm designing because I feel like it kind of breaks away from the actual design process when I'm thinking about what kind of information to type so the first things I do I get the screenshots write down all the information and then after that I do all of the colors and I just use the eyedropper tool for that So what I'm picking out from this app is just a lot of blues and a lot of really nice neutral tones and those are what I want to go with when it comes to the design which makes it a little bit more tricky when designing something because when we usually think of technology we think of like very bright high contrast kind of like blues that like glow and stuff but in this case we're going for a more like natural theme it might be even better when it comes to like an actual product or like a printed design but we're going to try and do it for a music app. 
The next thing I'm doing is taking all of those little information things that we have planned out and then putting them in like gray boxes and kind of just like boring text placeholder so that I know exactly where I want to lay them out. When you start with a design, it's kind of, it's really easy to get started into like the nitty grittiness of like, what does the gradient look like or how should I change up the color contrast? But I know that for me, when I start out with my design, I just kind of like gray box, really boring like roboto text everything where I feel like it should be on the app because then I can get the overall layout done and when you're designing it's the layout that's more important because we have to make it accessible and also something intuitive for the user. They need to know what they're walking into and it should match up to what they're expecting even if it might look a bit cooler than what um, than what they actually had in mind. It should still kind of have a familiarity for them so that they can feel like oh this is totally a music app. And then as I'm doing this, I just like cross off the things that I've already put into my screen. One of the things that I have to get the more the information on is their track list and also the length of each song. Putting all of that information in first, that is really important to get it feel like more more alive, I guess. We're not just gonna use dummy text because we don't have to. It also makes your design look really boring and it doesn't feel realistic. So putting as much of like the actual text or at least how you expect the text to look like, that's something that you can always do when designing. So I'm kind of just like laying out where I think the buttons are going to go like right now I'm working on the currently playing song so I have to like put in a separate like border or a rectangle around it so I know what kind of content should go inside of it it's definitely not going to look like that when we finish but this is something that um that I just need to know so that when I put it there I'm like oh yeah that kind of information goes into the currently playing part on the on the screen the progress bar about how far you were into a song and it's just like this ugly black line <laughs> oh yeah and then the little dot menu for like if you were to uh, click on it or tap on it it would open up and like show different options for you i put that in there too um i think those are called kebab menus i call them kebab menus because they look like little like, skewers and stuff i don't know like a skewer menu and then duplicating out all the songs and just like bloop 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 bloop, bloop and then we have a track list, or at least what we think is going to show up on the screen at one time. Usually if you were doing a mock-up and you can make it interactive so you can actually get people to like play through it, you want to create a scrollable component for it so that people can actually like scroll through and see the entire track list instead of just seeing like a static one. And then we can finally move on to the currently playing one, which is a lot more simple. It follows the same layout, honestly, when it comes to any music app. I think that's just what's intuitive and what people are expecting. No problem with that at all, but after we do that now I can start adding in the colors so the first thing I did was to add in the album art cover because I know that's what I want and just having it there it already like makes it look a lot more <laughs> designed and um, a lot more like BTS I also didn't want to use like a full like white white on the background for it I want to use one of their like kind of off-white colors just to make it a feel a bit more natural it doesn't have to like I think that's the thing with this it doesn't have to look perfect and like artificial, it just has to look real. And now I'm finally changing up all of the track lists to match the track list on their album. Okay. I also decided to delete the big circle at the very, on the left hand side, because that was supposed to be my favorite button, but I realized that like that's really big. It's also like on the left side, so I feel like it was really awkward and it just made the screen a lot more crowded and I didn't want that. When I jumped back into it again, we are looking at the fonts. So this font comes from the ending screen on their on, on their on music video. I know it's not the exact font. I'm actually the garbage when it comes to fonts. They all look the same to me, which is not something I should say as a person who does this for a living. Knowing that I'll be using a bunch of these kind of like textures or colored backgrounds, I want a font with a higher weight to to it so it's like a thicker font and um, it'll just stand out more when you have those kind of more complicated backgrounds yeah and then just looking at like the way that I had the kebab menu done out I thought it was way too big and it took too much space on the screen so I actually just like made all the circles a little smaller and a little closer together the way I usually do those kebab menus or like any kind of icon ideally when it comes to spacing is like if your icon is X 
pixels, then your margin should be x divided by 2. In my case, each of those dots are like, I think it was 8 by 8 pixels. All the spacing between each dot should be like 4. Now that we're moving on with the design, I kind of have a better idea about what it should look like and I also realized that I started to hate it because it just looked really boring and really flat. One of the best things and what makes mock-ups and prototypes different and interesting to people is the fact that you can interact with it. I also still want to let the users know that there's like movement in the app. So that's why I'm like taking my elements like the back button and also the currently playing component and then I'm trying to like extend them over the frame that is the screen. I think that adds a bit more movement to it. It gives it a bit more dimension. Yeah and I think it just looks cooler like you can see that it's not as like boring and flat as something would be if it was just constrained inside a rectangle. And then like I found that when I did that I liked it a lot better. So I decided to do the same thing when it comes to the track list. Originally my idea was to let all the albums have like their own image but I realized it really doesn't make sense since some of them are like for singles and stuff. So I'm starting to incorporate some of the blues. I'm thinking that blue is going to be like a main highlight color so this would be anything like for a bun or for any like kind of interactive parts of the app that you want the users to kind of play with. So my idea was to take images from the music video that I really liked and then let them be like a carousel of images that you can choose for the album. Instead of using the default album cover maybe you would have a favorite member or something and you could just like select one of those pictures for the album cover instead. And when I did that, I felt like the colors of the music video were a little too dark for my personal taste. So I decided to just put them through a little bit of color editing. Yes, um, I definitely was a Tumblr girl a back back in the day. Okay, so doing that, I was able to extract some pictures that I liked and I'm going to use them for some of those album covers. And then what I also noticed from, from the album was the little like lines that go behind the album cover and how they were kind of like warped at some places. So I decided to add that as like extra texture to the background of my app because I thought it was a little boring and adding in those like really subtle kind of lines to it, I think that'll look pretty cool. That kebab menu, it just didn't sit right with me for like the longest time. It was just like, why is it so fat? <laughs> um, yeah, and then now I'm just like filling in some of the other information like the album and also the year the album came out. I did put the year the album came out to be like a little bit fainter because I don't feel like it's that important when it comes to like the overall grand scheme of things. And then because I thought the spacing was a little bit tight, I shrunk down the size of the album cover and I also gave it like a little bit of gradient again to like make it pop out more and to give it more dimension. When I'm working with static images, I love giving it dimension. I think it looks way more fun, way more interactive, it gives it that motion kind of feeling to it. It just doesn't look as flat and boring. I decided to add in the sky background for the playlist itself. What I wanted to do was create something that would show you're going through the actual song without having to do that really ugly black bar that I had at the beginning of it. So instead, I took where that kind of section is in the music video. So in my mock-up, I decided that we're playing the song and we're kind of at like the one minute and 10 second mark and I looked in the music video and that's kind of where we stopped when it came to like and I thought wouldn't it be cool if we can have a way where it plays the music video at the very bottom and then as you progress th through the song the colors like gradually get darker until like the entire music video is playing at the very end with like the color fully there and then finally I changed up the kebab menu into like a vertical vertical dot menu and like that looks so much better like way less space and i think it's also like more industry standard <laughs> that green bar in the background i kind of did the same thing so i took a picture that i really liked and then i overlaid it with the green and then i kind of just like put them together so that they had that greenish filter on it and it's subtle enough that you can like see the image but having text on it and like it still looks like a really cool background right and then i was going to do a play button but then i kind of like i kind of realized that we're going to be playing the song anyway so when you're playing a song it shouldn't be the play button because you're already playing it should be the pause button so i do change that up later especially when we get into the currently playing screen then i removed the rest of the album covers and then i just chose a few images that i had edited the colors a little bit and then placed them inside where i think those images are i do really like how the images turned out. I think they would look really nice like on a phone wallpaper or like, I don't know, even like a phone cover or like a photo card. I don't know, I really like that. <laughs> now we're moving on into the, <laughs> moving on, that's gonna get me every single time in this video.
Now we're moving to the currently playing screen and that one's a lot more simple. We already have the general layout that's going to go through the app and just for consistency we're going to keep it very similar. So we still have that green bar at the top, we still have the same back button, a new album cover for the song, and then every other kind of like the little icons for play and pause, the loop and the shuffle, that's all kind of like there's a standard icon when you have that so that it doesn't really take like a lot of breaking the wheel kind of design. This page is going to flow through a lot more quickly. Now um, I did add that extra kind of white panel because I wanted again a little bit more dimension when it comes to creating the app and then I did add the official album cover in the corner because I just want people to know like this is still their seventh album. I just chose another picture. And yeah we are, so this is me creating some icons and also grabbing off some icons from some icon libraries and I think that's about it. So by then I was pretty much done with my design. I did add in a few little kind of extra details. I also put in a little heart at the corner of the currently playing screen so that we have something for a user to favorite. But other than that, I think that's actually the full design. One of the things that I really try to do for all of my projects in a very keener way to try to always get better in my craft is to do a retrospective. You don't want to do a project and then just forget about it because you're going to repeat the same mistakes over and over again unless you critically analyze what you did wrong and figure out ways to make it better. So of course this isn't an excuse for you to be super hard on yourself and roast your own designs and call yourself garbage but it is a way for you to figure figure out what kind of tweaks you can make to something to make it better. So if I'm taking a look at this BTS app, honestly, I, I really do like it. I think I've come a long way since I first started and I'm actually really happy with the images that I had made for some of those optional images. I do think it might be a little bit hard to know that there are more images hidden behind that first album cover. So I think adding something like a little carousel dot thing at the very bottom would be underneath the image would be kind of nice for people to be able to see if there are more images to go through. I also really like the idea that I had of doing the currently playing song on the playlist screen and like having the video playing behind it and the more that you progress through it the like brighter the colors get. I think that was a really cool idea. I do not think that I executed it in the best way but I do think I do want to try that idea for other things in the future. Yeah, I think that might just be everything that I can really pick apart when it comes to these two screens right now. Of course, there are other things you might want to keep in mind, like what does this button look like when you click on it or when you tap on it? Like, what does it open up? Is there going to be a menu? Is it clear enough for the user? There's all these things like that that would actually come out more if you were to do a full design with all the UX research behind it. But for something that I whipped up in like an hour and had a lot of fun doing and me for a Korean boy band that does not know I exist, I think I'm pretty happy with it. So there we go. Retrospective done. All right, so I think that's it for our BTS music app that we did today or through the last couple days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Clearly, I am still a little bit awkward in front of a camera, but thank you for bearing with me. I hope this was able to help you kind of see what my thought process and is when it comes to designing something. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!